everybody. This is Andrew here with the Tower E-Bike Repair Shop, and today we are going to be doing our test ride, first impressions of our freshly built Aventon Level, uh, city commuter style, uh, hybrid style bike. Um, if you wanna check out the uh, build video or unboxing, be sure to go check those out. Um, but today we are going to be taking it for its first test ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and power up our display right here. So it's got, it's not a colored display or a backlit, but it does give you quite a few details. We have our speed, uh, battery life, um, overall odometer, and then our pedal assist level. So right now I'm at zero. So um, with this particular bike, it does look like you do have to have that pedal assist ticked on to get any sort of throttle. So I'm throttling and nothing's going right now. So let's just start jamming and see how it rides. So I'm gonna tick this up pedal assist one. I'll see how it feels. So I'm in a middle gear and yeah, that uh, pedal assist definitely picks up pretty quick, picks up pretty quick. So I'm at pedal assist one and I'll be honest, I'm jamming pretty well here. So I'm gonna kick it up to two. Woo! So it's got some juice to it, definitely has some jump. It's a brand new bike, so I definitely wanna be light on those pads, bed them in a little bit, it's like I'm clear. So I'm gonna hit that throttle a little bit. So throttle's a little bit slower, a little less jump than the pedal assist, but it's got some decent juice. We'll check to see if it uh, corresponds to the pedal assist level, see if it gives a little more juice at higher levels. So we're stopping up to the stop sign, we're clear to go. So again, I'm at pedal assist two, I'm gonna take that up to three. All right, and at three, I'm, I'm spinning out here in the middle gear, so I'm gonna shift down to something a little faster. So yeah, even a pedal assist three, I'm uh, almost up to 20 pretty easily. So I'm gonna take it up to four. Yeah, this bike, uh, if you got some juice to it, gonna slow down here along the curve. Again, trying to get those brake pads bedded in as well. Something you should always do whenever you're hopping on a new bike or got some fresh brake pads. Always be sure to bed those pads in before you lock it up or you could uh, end up glazing your rotor. So I'm gonna slow down and let this lady pass so I can turn down this alley. Always wanna ride safe. So again, I'm in pedal assist four, so it's giving me quite a lot of juice. Tick it up to five, full blast. And I'm spinning out a little bit, so. Yeah, that full blast is fast. That pedal assist is jamming. So I'm gonna slow it down here a bit as I approach the end of the alley. Again, I'm still bedding these pads in, so I don't wanna myself in a position where I have to lock up completely. And already I can feel the pads having a lot more grip to them. So they're bedding in really well. That's always good news. And I'm clear. So I'm gonna throttle now as well. So yeah, I'm at pedal assist five and I'm hitting that throttle. So it, it's not really associated with the pedal assist level. So it does appear you do have to just have pedal assist on in general for that throttle to go. Um, but that throttle is only gonna have sort of one power level. Um, let's stop here again. All right, I'm clear, so I'm gonna get jamming. Yeah, if you wanna get any sort of speed on this bike, pedal assist is definitely the way to go. So I'm just throttling right now. And we're going, we're going decently quick. It, picks, it feels a little exponential. It feels like I definitely get going a little quicker as it builds up. So it doesn't accelerate super fast, but the, pedal, but the throttle's decent. I definitely enjoy the pedal assist feeling of this bike a lot more. It's, uh, it's real jumpy, you know, even at pedal assist level three, it's giving you some real juice. Um, you know, these brakes they have on there, they're sort of uh, off brand. Here's the uh, Bengal Aries 3. Um, so a little more of a basic hydraulic brake, but they definitely, uh, now that the, you know, the bedding in process is going in a little bit, they definitely have some bite, definitely have some stop. So they're, they're overall decent brakes. So for a couple laps around the block, we're gonna pull back here behind the uh, repair shop and I'm gonna slow it down and stop. So yeah, it's a, it's a fun ride, fun ride. The, uh, the 27.5 wheels, definitely give you some width. Um, you know, the tires have some chunk to it so they can handle a little rougher streets, but it's still a uh, low rolling resistance. So, you know, you can still get going pretty quick and it holds its speed decently well. Um, again, the throttle leaves a little to be desired. It's not the fastest uh, or strongest throttle in the world, but as you, as you, you know, let it go on, it does get a little stronger towards the end. But the pedal assist on this bad boy is, is great. Like I said, even at like levels two or three, it gives you a lot of strength, a lot of jump, a lot of juice. So Aventon level, it's a, it's a fun, you know, city style commuter bike. It'd be great to, uh, you know, ride to and from work, go get your groceries. You know, it's got a little ruggedness to handle a little bit of everything. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day and keep riding. Bye.